Hey there, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I want to show you how we use a plugin called Asset Cleanup Pro to speed up the page speed scores and the actual speed of our pages on all of our WordPress websites. This is on our agency website, the Isotropic Design site, uh, and we use the pro version of this plugin on all websites. There's also a free version, uh, it's a little limited, the pro version is well worth it in our opinion. So uh, we're going to be showing you how it works, what we use, uh, and a brief walkthrough of the plugin. So here's our website. Um, and we use Asset Cleanup Pro right now. It's version 1.1.7 uh, to speed up the performance and loading times of our pages. And I'm going to walk you through the settings that we have on some of the pages and the, the site-wide settings. So first off, um, you have a ton of options with this plugin um, and you can pause the video and look through all of these pages but you have the option to merge minify combine uh, and change the loading of both CSS and JavaScript add a CDN uh, unload which means disable specific scripts throughout the website uh, also clean up the HTML source code uh, load font so as you can see we uh, have our fonts and we have them set to preload and then you can also for your Google fonts load them from your website preload them combine them uh, really speed things up so there's a ton of really powerful features just from the the base um, set and as you can see here we're using a plugin called breeze which works with our recommended cloudways hosting platform uh, and it will automatically identify that you are already minifying and merging CSS and JS files with a separate plugin and tell you that you're already doing this. So as you can see, it's just a really well-coded plugin. Uh, because you're making changes to the makeup of your pages, it can break the pages. So enabling a test mode allows you to review the changes before pushing them live. So this is just a very helpful uh, setting in this plugin. Uh, which in ensures that you'll know that your pages work before actually making the changes. So the way we make our pages faster, I'm going to show you an example page. So here's an example page, uh, websites for college startups. We offer free websites for startups. So here's our page. And it looks a little weird because I'm on a very large monitor. And I'll link the page below. Here's our page on the back end. We built this page with Elementor, but on the back end, you can run through, this is the, the asset cleanup plugin. You can run through the entire uh, list of all CSS and JavaScript files that are loaded. And as you can see, we're loading 51 files. And you can go through and you can see which are the files that you're not using on this page. And we haven't optimized this page. It's a fairly new page. So I know that we're not using this plugin on the page. So there's no reason to be loading these scripts on the page. We're not using an easy table of contents on this page. Um, so there's no reason to be loading these scripts. Say we are using these scripts, but they're not mandatory in the initial viewport. You can load it asynchronously, or you can defer the loading on this page everywhere. Uh, and you can also turn it off for the entire site, so on and so forth. In the pro version, uh, it will show you the file size, so you'll know if, if uh, focusing on this script will actually make a difference in your page speed. Uh, if it's a larger file and you know you're not using it, disabling it is a great idea. So there are a bunch of, there are a bunch of scripts that are loading on this page, uh, and we can go through every script and understand which ones aren't loading and then disable it. So that's really the, the main functionality of this plugin. And, and the basic turn off, turn on for each script is enabled in the um, free version of the Assay Cleanup plugin as well. So you'll be able to just run through every page on your website and uh, turn off individual scripts from loading. And that really, uh, if you're on Google PageSpeed and if you're, you see a notice that says uh, efficiently load JavaScript or remove unused CSS or JavaScript, that's what this plugin really allows you to do. And then, as I said before, uh, you can also preload fonts. Um, you can optimize each individual one. And this will really just help you speed up your website. Really, really 
this is the plugin that you need when it comes to page speed. Uh, you can also manage the plugins. So we use a bunch of plugins on this website because it's a very large website. Um, when you're using a lot of plugins, first off, you want to only be using essential plugins on your website. When you're using a lot of plugins, chances are you're not using the individual plugin on every single page. So an example we like using Gravity Forms, you're not using Gravity Forms on every single page. You're probably only using it on the contact page. And Gravity Forms will load its CSS style sheet for the entire website. So disabling it on the entire website, so for example, if we aren't using this example plugin, unloading it site-wide uh, and then adding an exception that says, add an exception when it matches this um, this individual uh, URL or this, this regex URL, adding that exception will ensure that it only loads on individual pages, all everything associated with the plugin. So you're not gonna be loading unnecessary plugins on a page that they aren't needed. This is a very powerful feature. As you see, we haven't done anything with it on this website, uh, but on client websites, we'll really, we'll, we'll go all in on this. Uh, and as you can see, your unload rules allow you to manually specify this or always load it if the user is logged in. So if, say for example, if you have a members only WooCommerce site, WooCommerce adds a lot of CSS and JavaScript styling to the to the plugin to the to the wordpress website so disabling woocommerce if it's only going to be used for logged in members that's a good idea um so really this this is what you can do with the plugin manager aspect of this um of this plugin so to review this plugin you get a ton of individual settings that allow you to optimize your css javascript fonts um, and and more. You can disable plugins uh, site-wide, which is a great idea because you're definitely not using plugins site-wide. You can also manage all your CSS and JavaScript. You can do it from the uh, this this screen here if you set it up to, to run that way. We've set it up to run on the individual pages. So you can go onto your page and you can toggle on and off individual fonts that individual CSS and JavaScript files that you don't want to be loaded. And uh, that's really the functionality of this plugin. It allows you to remove the amount of data that you're going to be loading on an individual page, especially if you're not using uh, the plugin or, or whatever it may be on that specific page. It allows you to remove those uh, and seriously speed up the loading of your website. So there's a free version uh, and there's a paid version. The free version allows you to unload on the page. The paid version allows you to add a lot of additional rules like async, defer, uh, and it gives you access to the plugin manager. So I'll shoot, uh, I'll give you a link in the description below on both the, uh, the link to the free plugin, the link to the paid plugin, uh, and a couple articles that discuss how we use this plugin to specifically remove unused CSS and remove unused JavaScript. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you a good walkthrough of the premium uh, asset cleanup plugin. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below.